there comes a point in time in every man's life where he has to ask himself a couple of questions like, who do I impact? Who am I? What do I leave behind? Did I make the right decision? What's a good guy's a life-changing experience where we allow room for growth to embrace our masculinity, reveal our vulnerability, and take accountability while getting the perspective of others as we continue to ask the question, what's a good guy? Premiering every Monday on all streaming platforms at 8 a.m. Don Peasley knows where I'll be at. Who that text? <laughs> nah, dumb. I think I was talking to Vlad. Oh, that was probably the funniest shit ever. <laughs> Nigga said, mm hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on? We're recording? It's the second week? Second week of the year, brother. Let's go. Damn. You already know this motherfucker, Shamal's favorite lover, as always, Donald Peasley. Alongside of LaShawn. It's a great motherfucking day. Shout out to all y'all subscribing, liking, commenting, doing shit y'all do every week. We do appreciate y'all. If you get, if somebody send you news, my brother put it on vibrate. Stop that Thank narrative, bro. <laughs> Stop Elisa, that Elisa narrative. put the pussy on the phone. <laughs> Stop that narrative, <laughs> the, bro. Yo, like, subscribe, and comment, bro. That's all I ask y'all to do, bro. Because I'll pull up to y'all crib. It's a Stop new year for me, twenty twenty, bro. We all bullshit. You understand me? No, we not. <laughs> I can't hear with energy so you, today. So you think you think? Let me tell you why you got to stop that narrative. Mm-hmm. Because say a woman did want it to do that, right? Mm-hmm. She's already thinking I have an influx of women, so she might stop. No, she's not gonna stop. Why would she be a, amongst many? Because she, she wants she's to be gonna the feel like she's, I'm the one. He, she, he doesn't want those other women. They want what they can have. <laughs> They want what they can't. How you know? Huh? <laughs> How you know? I mean, I was, in, I was in the game before, boss. <laughs> like that. What's good, brother? Ain't nothing chilling like a villain Cadillac dripping, nigga. What it do? <laughs> you, you <good. laughs> Before they put something in that essential there, bro. That shit got me on the Why you took the plastic off? For me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nigga tried to set me up, boy. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> nigga took the plastic off. I thought you, I thought you like, you know... Keeping the rubber on. <laughs> this nigga's getting in my personal business. <laughs> so I gotta chill. You shooting clubs up now? Huh? You shooting clubs up now? Been shooting clubs up, dog. But what it do? Um, no brand water in these streets, man. We not um, we not showing off other niggas' brands. Yo, shout outs to January thirteenth coming up in a couple of days. You know, J thirteen. You know, shoot that up. You already know, big shut, red on this side, boss. Shout out to the shout out to the Deltas. This guy's a jokester, man. He don't stop. That's his problem. <laughs> Yo, oh yeah, that's a Monday. Hey, shout out to all the Deltas today. Get you a Delta woman, I think. Right, right, dog. Get you a Delta woman. Uh, so I, you could. So, I, yo, can you wear her jacket? What? Nah, I wear, I wear, I wear pink and green, boss. You ain't no AKA. <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> I'm for every song. This nigga's about to beat up Boosie. <laughs> Niggas ain't gonna pull to my crib and brunch hats on, bro. <laughs> Not this guy over here, boss. Nah. I mean, shout out to, yeah, shout out to all the uh, Deltas today. Mm-hmm. You know, to congratulations. Shout I think to, it was shout like to the, um, 1914. Mm-hmm. Cap is too. I just had y'all date up day. Yeah, leave Boosie alone, though. Found his day. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna front <laughs> he, he, go. he deserves an honorary man. Yo, like, bro, niggas playing Wipe Me Down, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah give, Boosie, give Boosie his. His and, cosign. And niggas sitting there teaching this nigga shit on live, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do the dance. I know how to do that shit. That's a fucked up part. Yo, I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me I can't do a dance. I can't shimmy? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't care Harlem, about... Nigga been Harlem shaking for years, bro. And, and none of them niggas is from Harlem. Come on. Like, like you can't... I can't throw bows. I, I can't, I can't. I can't throw bows. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hit you one of these jaws. Hey, man, you better shoot it. I can't do one of these. <laughs> what if there's a crook like this? <laughs> I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. That's my problem, bro. I can watch you do that shit two times. I bet. I know exactly what to do, bro. Come on, bro. Shout out to Joe Budden Mall and um, Rory. I think that, that, that video is going viral. <laughs> yeah, it did look like it did look like the. That's funny, but um. Why'd you ask me about the um the plastic though? What's up? Yeah, I don't know. So lately, big gulp, Don. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Stop that, <laughs> bro. I'm dehydrated. I need my water. Nigga, dog be gulping the shit out of that water. <laughs> Nigga sound like he drowning in the pussy. <laughs> but now, all seriousness, all seriousness, right? Uh-huh. Every time we do somebody's show, mm-hmm. 
or we we're a guest somewhere, they'd be like, yo, take off the sticker because mm-hmm. they're not getting paid to promote to, it. To promote it, right? <laughs> cool. But that's like me saying, oh, that's like boom, John wearing a what's a good guy hoodie, mm-hmm. right? And Marion tells him, yo, take off that hoodie because what's a good guy don't pay you. Mm-hmm. What? I different. can't just support what I like. Oh, that's exactly. Why why do I need like bread behind it? Like, why yeah. does there need to be So so question is, why did we stop saying play the finish? Because we stopped going to Planet Fitness. I should go to Planet Fitness. I was going to Synergy. And I go to LA Fitness too. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing is just like... Um, but what if Planet Fitness was like, yo, we love that you do that. Every episode. Here's a, here's a free membership for the lifetime. Mm-hmm. What if we had that men- mentality it's, of like, oh... That's you shooting your shots though. Facts. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, let's say this episode goes viral, right? And I have a bottle of Essentia water... Mm-hmm. And they they were like, yo, I see, yo, this is the results. Do you mind having a, we'll send you some cases. But if I took this sticker off because I'm know. not getting a bag, they wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? So I I just, I just, <laughs> I just support whatever I like, man. Whatever, like, I talk about Bath and Body Works candles and I don't get a bag from them. And but guess what? It's, People be. It's just like, um, fucking, um, Henny Palooza. Remember okay, they, so but that that's like a business thing. Though. Yeah, they went and they tried to get business from them, and they said no, or they didn't take a meeting. So it's like I bet. So I'm not gonna. I've been giving you quote unquote free promo all year. I wanted to ask Cam like, yo, why didn't you go to like Patron? I don't think they they drink Patron. Savages. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So it's like it's like um, I I, I talk about what I like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I got a tear hoodie on. Mm. Nigeria don't cut me a check to wear it. What am I not going to wear in Nigeria? I mean, no, tear. Uh, tear they don't pay me. Because they don't pay me? No. It's, it's you know, you, you put out there what you like. And if if they like you enough to do business, then it's a boom. I think it's more supporting black business instead of um anything else. My father called me for what reason? I don't know. Put him on the line. So, uh, he probably won't yell at me, bro. I don't want to hear that shit right now. Um, it's more along the lines of, uh, make sure you're not spelling either. It's more along the lines of supporting black businesses. Like, we'll throw on, like, I got, I got, um, CYS shit on. Shout out to Cyrus. Like, I got shit like that on. But certain shit we don't wear. We don't wear. What do you mean? Bro, once the last time you wore somebody's sweater that was, like, somebody's coat that wasn't black. A sweat, like a top. Like a sweater or some shit. A sweat. That wasn't black? That it's, wasn't black, black owned. It's been a while. You have, you have Nike shit, but that's just like. Yeah, that's yeah, the general consensus stuff. But See, like, yeah. supporting supporting black business is more important than like the world. It's like it's little. That's little shit. That's little. Like I'm I'm, I'm thirsty. Mm. Do we have black people that own like water brands except for just water? Because you're not finding that in every water. You're not finding that every corner store. I mean, if you if you want to do the research and find it, yeah, you can. But I just I'm just not one of those people where like I have something on. Mm. Or I like something, and because of my platform, I'm quote unquote not giving them the free promotion mm. or free advertising. Like, I, I like the water, bro. Unless unless I'm in a deal with a partnership with like so say so even, even shit. So say I was like, oh Zeus, we use Zeus balance. as an example, right? Mm. Zeus has a deal with New Balance, right? Zeus has a deal with New Balance, right? Mm. So, rightfully, respectfully, if if they say, "Hey, you know, we want you to wear exclusively New Balance because we're doing we're in business and blah blah blah," and he's like, "I bet I'll lay off the Nikes." Mm. Cool, mm. that makes sense. We in it's business contract, together. Yeah, but outside of if he generally liked New Balances, you know what I'm saying? But bef- because he's in front of a uh, a camera. He'll ask the editor to gray it out because I don't want to give them free promotion. That just doesn't make sense to me. But um, See, that's, that's a totally different thing when when contracts is involved, bro. Yeah, well then you're doing like legal I work. I like to do what I want. Then you don't sign any, don't sign anybody. Or make or or you put in your contract that you still want the free reign to do this, that, and the third. Because some it. athletes, some athletes have like sneaker deals. 
that, of course, during the regular season, they can wear, they have to wear whatever they're signed to, but off court, off season, off brand. Uh, Stephen Curry signed the Under Armour, but like you'll occasionally see him in some like 11s and stuff like that. Le- LeBron is a huge Jordan collector, but during the season and most times he wears, his own he wears his own shit. So it's like, that's that you have to have that, that leverage. leverage. Imagine not having that leverage. Like you have to be a slave to their brand. No, that's not true. You get you get what you uh you get what you negotiate. But like certain like say certain like um NBA players, bro, they don't have the bread. Like they need their endorsement money. Like you have to do it. That means you're a slave to it now. No, I don't think so. I don't you think, think you so. think they be having that much leverage? Even the rookies, bro. The rookies that's not in, in the spotlight. Okay, so I don't think they have to sign to it, right? But I do think that um, that's probably more money. Sometimes those unknown rookies or those up-and-coming rookies, their endorsement deals are bigger than their actual contract. Mm-hmm. So some of them may be signing... Uh, um, well, I wouldn't say measly because I wouldn't... I wouldn't <laughs> who am I to complain about a $1.1 million contract? I take that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But their endorsement deal may be... A three-year, two point eight million dollar contract. So they'll take it. I mean, I would, I would stop wearing Jordans for the duration of my contract if Nike said they were giving me X amount, and that's that's what that's a number I want. You know what I'm saying? That that cosign, in a sense, will give you the extra leverage. And I like the transition that we're in about the cosign, right? Because recently, um. Rain Rain had hit me on some like uh shouts to Rain. Rain had hit me on some like, yo, bro, did you see this X, Y, and Z? And I was like, nah, and people what happened. And he was like, yo, this this particular tweet was put out on podcast, right? Let's just leave it simple like that. And he was like, yo, I just think it's effed up that y'all were left off that list. Now me. I'm not concerned about people's list because that's people's personal well, opinion. You talking about the one, the one he tagged to? Yes. <clears> but the, <throat> I seen the, the nigga listen to this shit, though. <clears throat> but his thing was, okay, if he does, then why? And why, the, why make the that conversation mm-hmm. of what they were talking about, he was like, there's no way you leave what's a good guy off of that. Mm-hmm. So I said, you're right. I see where you're coming from. I agree with you, mm-hmm. but somebody's list doesn't change what we do. You know what I'm saying? If that's their personal opinion. But he was like, there's a power, there's power behind like, not a cosign, but like support. Mm -hmm. Right? So then, made me think like, yo, this year, I'm not going to be in the business of begging for support. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or, I see the list, I see that we're off the list, and I hit hit the person up like, yo, bro, yeah, bro we, we got beef. Yeah, like I'm not taking that personal <laughs> anymore. That that's just it doesn't serve me. All and right, you probably if, if, or, any, if or, anything, you're probably not one of the people that listen to us, and that's that's cool, bro. Like, you, or if it slipped his mind, mm-hmm. like forget, could, forgive you, I forgive you. Yeah, yeah, like people generally forget, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. I've I've said things, and I'm be like, damn, I forgot. You know what I'm saying? I'm so in my head and I'm off. Yeah, exactly. So, but. But that now leads the conversation of quote unquote the cosign mm-hmm. of like who backs you, who supports you. Um, can you make it without a cosign? Can you win without a cosign? How do you Ooh. get to the highest level possible without that cosign? Now, from as small as my right hand man supporting me to uh, a, a company. Okay, let me ask you one question. All right, go <clears throat> it's the same thing. Um, Joe said. Which Joe? Kojo. Kojo? Shout out to Kojo. Shout out to Kojo. You need a white person on your team. Oh, Kojo told you that? No, nah, he told me that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to I wasn't gonna say Kojo's name. Because <laughs> I didn't want Kojo to get ridiculed for that. I Yo, was bro, gonna... Kojo, you get bothered every day. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I was going to talk but about But he's not the only person I've said that, bro. Like, I don't believe somebody, in that. Somebody said that you need a white person on your team and you need a woman on your team. I believe, part, I believe I believe we're uh, uh, having a strong because women a woman is I think statistically I may I, I don't think I'm wrong okay, but no, if I am I am just correct no, me no, I think statistically <sighs> women <laughs> women are the biggest consumers black mm. women mm-hmm. so like 
you want somebody who naturally automatically, well, not automatically, but will consume your product to help push your product because the opinion of your consumer is what matters, the, not the most, but it's one that you must listen to. Like, you can't ignore your consumer. So if my biggest consumer is a black woman, I would want a black woman on my team who consumes my product and tells me what steps to go to, right? So now, damn... We're gonna talk about Kojo said, yo, he he feels that. <laughs> you didn't say um, his name. <laughs> yeah, but you said it already. <laughs> no, I was not gonna say Kojo. I'm with you. <laughs> but right. Kojo said that. Listen um, to honest ear. Uh facts. Kojo's honest ear thought that um <laughs> oh every everybody, no, not everybody, I don't, I don't want to misquote him, but he was like, most powerful people have a white man backing them. Look at look at Meek. That that was one of his examples. <laughs> um and I'm like, uh, I hear you, but mm-hmm. I, well, let me say this. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kojo was being anti-black. Mm-hmm. So I'll put that. It's from what he sees. It's just what he, he sees. sees. He's speaking Honestly. on what he sees, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't want people to be but, like, oh, he's wrong. He's wrong. Nah, bro. If he sees, if that's what he sees, bro, that's what he sees. But bro. I don't think I am going to go out seeking mm-hmm. for a white man to mm-hmm. come support this black product to push to more black people. I just... I don't just make sense. don't. I, that if you if you're trying to push if it, it to, happens if, naturally, boom. If you're trying to push it towards your uh, demographic, that's that's that makes some. It's, it's understandable. Facts, yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I just like I respect Kojo's opinion. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that what's a good guy needs a white man to get behind us to get to that. Ain't no, ain't no, <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, sure. ain't no white man getting behind me, period. <laughs> No man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's my belief. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I ain't coming at nobody, boss. <laughs> do what you do. Live your life. Life is but, great. Um, live it. But yeah, so that that so that. Who would you want to cosign you? Okay, so talk it talk. Brother. The cosign, right? I was having a conversation with uh, with a successful podcaster, right, mm-hmm. and. Um, in the midst of our conversation, I was like, you, you got the numbers, you got the numbers, you got the audience, you've been able to sell out shows, you've toured a little bit off of your, your platform, but you still feel like you need a backing from a company. Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Why do you feel that? And then if that is what you feel that that's what you need, right? Then my complaints may be not stupid, but it might be pointless. Because if I feel like I need a bigger audience, Mm -hmm. right? Uh, The ability to go on the road and tour and quit my day job so I could do this full time. And this is bringing me enough money that I can still maintain the lifestyle without Mm -hmm. having a job. But the people who are doing it are still saying it's not enough. Then it's like, I right, then maybe I shouldn't be looking at that. And then, so I said, so what does the mach- what does the machine do for you? Because in my eyes, you are pulling the guests without a machine. You got the show. You got everything that most up and comers want or looking for or trying to achieve without the machine. Mm-hmm. Why do you need the machine? And they post. They basically saying it. it it quote unquote, I don't want to misquote them, but it kind of solidifies them and it makes the job easier. Now, I'm all for working smarter, not harder. But if I am able to do everything that the machine is doing for me, I don't need a, I, I don't think I would need one. Because now, not to sound greedy, but now I'm, I'm legit breaking bread with other people I don't even know like that. Right. So here's here's the thing about a cosign, right? There are there are two cosigns that I I I, I generally believe in. No, there's a no, there are two cosigns that I think exist. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the cosign you go looking for, mm-hmm. right? The cosign of like, yo, I want I want people to support, I want people to back, I want this, that, and third, I want to work with this person and da 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 da. Then it's the cosign of the person who naturally believes in you mm-hmm. and want to push you to the next level. That cosign I want more than the other one. That one, that one is straight business. The other person would 
look into your interests a little bit more. Yeah, they exactly. Know, they even know, if they e- know exactly what you even want. Even if the, even <laughs> if they want, even if they want, even if it is business, right? There's a personal attachment mm-hmm. that they want to see what's best for you, mm-hmm. and a personal interest outside of a business aspect. Like some people will say, "Yo." After money, I just want to see Don do good. Mm. So if I could put Don in this room and this, that, and the third, I'm going to do that because I generally believe in him. Mm. And then when it's time to handle business, we handle business. Then there's people who say, all right, I'll do that for you, but here's our contract. They'll go straight to the contract. Mm. So those are the two different cosigns that I think are out there mm. that we can't get confused in looking for. Now, one, maybe you may want one that's just strictly business, mm. like, yo... I want that one. This is what I bring to the table. This is what you can do to boost. Here's our splits. Mm-hmm. Boom. Fine. Then you have the people who naturally care. Ah, uh, I see. I, I just made it. That is the, the <laughs> cosign that you feel good about because the, the person who's backing you and putting their name on the line is more of that's what you want. So, for example, right? I'll, I'll do the example of... of I already know the example, but I don't want to say it. What are you talking about? I have an example. Okay, so the, the example, example that we never t- we never talked about. Oh, that's that's, that's, exa- that's oh, an amazing example. You know. <laughs> that cosine, right? That cosine of by this time next year, what's a good guy is gonna be? Boom, 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 mm. boom, boom, right? But that wasn't a genuine mm. cosine, like. Mm. That didn't show that interest. It it looked good mm-hmm. from a person with that audience, mm-hmm. that following to say that. That would make people interested on that's the power of a cosign. Mm-hmm. So if I say, yo, perfect example. If I say my therapist, Amanda Davis, mm-hmm. is like the best thing that ever happened to me. And I week every you week, keep saying, I yeah. keep saying it and I boast about it and I tell and I and I give examples of how, how she helped me how she helps me. A person might hear that and go to, and go to her based off of my cosign. Mm-hmm. That is not me going to Amanda, yo, can you lower my rate because I'm helping you? No, I generally want people to meet Amanda, sit down with Amanda. And you know things flourish from in their lives. Mm-hmm. That is the the cosign that I can give to her mm-hmm. in results of her helping me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in results, she helps me outside of the podcast. It's now a personal attachment. Amanda, uh, yes, today Amanda, I Amanda was on the phone and she didn't say she was sitting with a client. She said she was sitting with her friend. And to me, that made me feel good. She called me her friend. Not her client, her friend. So that meant the world to me, mm-hmm. right? Now, the co-signing of, do I feel like you need a co-sign to win in life? It's a, it's a great little boost, though. I think it's a boost. It's a boost. It's a boost. I don't think it, it you does. generally need one, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It's good for your image. It's good for your image. Say, like, um... As far as marketing is... As, as far as marketing. Say we got, like, um... Our co-sign would be... Title. Title. Let's, let's just go out and say it, right? I was, gonna, I was gonna go with station head or something like that, but you know, I'm just okay. Station head or title, station. like mm-hmm. we have that in our bio and shit like that. Next, but oh, this is official. Like, let me book him. Why does it take that? That's my problem. It's just like it's just like it takes that verification on your um your Instagram for niggas to take you serious. Why? Because you verify. It shows that you have some type of importance. But it be people that's verified that doesn't. That, yeah, niggas pay for that, bro. Like, at this yeah, point, or people pay for or that. people don't that that really. Haven't done anything or like, and people love seeing that, bro. That's eye candy, so, bro. So boom. So do you need a cosign as a smoking mirror? Because that's what it seems like. Because so say, say okay, we're we're cosigned by Station Head, mm-hmm. and the fact that people see that oh, what's a good guy is on Station Head. Let me give them a chance. So if you remove the Station Head. I'm Do good. you no longer give the, us the chance? Is no, that because motherfuckers will see that they'll see that in your bio like, oh, station head, oh, title. Oh, I'm not gonna look through their Instagram. I already know they they solidified. If they don't see that, bro, they they're going to look through all your credentials, bro. But what's that's, wrong with that? What's wrong with them doing the little extra work to to? You, you to, heard that word you just used? Work. <laughs> Niggas don't want to do that, bro. Like, yo, bro, you have the verification shit on your Instagram. 
Niggas like, oh, this nigga's lit. Like, I'm following you. Off rip. Niggas will follow you off rip, bro. So that blue check is a cosign. For the, for, I ain't gonna front for me. I don't give a fuck about that blue check. That's showing me shit. You see that blue check, bro? It's like, oh, this nigga, oh, you verify? Oh, you, you, gotta, you gotta be somebody important. Mm. Before niggas even go down your Instagram, like, oh, this nigga took a picture with Jay Z? What the fuck? Nigga ain't got no verification check? Like, you gotta go, you gotta do the work and look. Niggas don't wanna go through that shit, bro. You see the title, niggas, oh, this nigga's on title. I'm gonna their podcast. They gotta be doing some shit. Mm. So, <laughs> So, mm, I can see that in the way of like a letter of recommendation. It is. It's a, it's a great reference. Cause like when I wanna when the in flight position opens up, uh, Edwin mm-hmm. is the new yeah the in flight yep. yep. Mm-hmm. So I'm and, not like my nigga. Edwin trained me, boss. Edwin is the one who hired me. Mm-hmm. He gonna so, hire me here too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Edwin mm-hmm. and be like, yo, bro, can you submit a letter of recommendation? That's why. You know, I've been here since you hired me. I've did this, that, and the third. May I please get a letter of recommendation so I can get this promotion? That letter of recommendation might be stronger than my resume. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that, that is what, so I think the positive of a cosign is that, that letter of recommendation is like, yo, they'll listen to his voice before they listen, yeah. before they listen to mine. Or it's like, I right, due to this man's reputation, I'll give you a chance. That's I don't it. even think you fit for this, but due to the fact that this man said this, I'll do it. The thing is, with his, with his, with his help, your voice becomes a little louder. That's all it is, bro. But that might be the same for the podcast. Because then it's like, all right, we get a co-sign from Station Head. Mm-hmm. We're now in multiple cities outside. We've now branched out of New York. Mm-hmm. We've now made our reach is a little bit further, mm-hmm. Right. So they amplified our voice. Mm. And that is something that we want, right? But is that something we go chasing for? That is, do we, do we, my, my thing with the cosign is, do you wait for it to come to you or do you go looking for it? it dep- ah, it depends. See, that's, def- that's difficult, bro, because you never find what you're looking for when you're really looking for it. I, I, I you know feel like you gotta if wait it for co- that shit to come to you, bro. That's what I'm saying. I've, I've seen like, so if I had the opportunity to ask, uh, oh, what's the, uh, Deces and Mero. Mm-hmm. I definitely did have a chance to talk to him. Did Showtime come knocking at their door or did mm-hmm. they go knocking, knocking at Showtime? Showtime? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the Showtime cosign is pretty huge. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's they, different. Yeah, they're, that's on, that's... they're on a, a channel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's huge. I'm pretty sure their life have changed forever due mm-hmm. to that. But did they go looking for it? It, from my outside looking in, it felt like yo they were just doing, doing their thing. They thing they put them, yeah. And people rocked with that and say, "Yo, let's do business together." Dude, where were they on first? Before I think they were just no, they were on Vice. They was on Vice and they yeah, went to Showtime. Yeah, exactly. So, so I feel Vice. like yeah, I feel like they were just doing their thing. Exactly. That's, but that's at the same time that's something we got to ask. Uh, that's from the outside looking in. We yeah, got to legit yeah. ask them. Exactly. But, so the cosign, the cosign <laughs> to me. If it's it's if the cosign is in the form of a letter of recommendation, mm-hmm. right? Because I, I I'll share this, right? So today's my today was my first therapy session since um since last year, mm-hmm. and I was finally able to show her the vision board and this that and the third. And Amanda was like Amanda was like, I'm very proud of you. And it, it 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 felt good to hear my therapist tell me she's proud of me, right? Mm. So, but she was like, "There's a couple of things I want I want you to tweak on your vision board. I want you to start putting dates because then it pushes you to go after it to, to commit this assignment before this date, right?" So I was like, "Okay." She was like, "Who who on this board? Who do you know personally, right? Mm. That knows." <laughs> Right. <laughs> Who do you know personally that knows people on this board? I said I know a couple of people, but there's one person that I that knows uh Four people 80% of this yeah. board, yeah. right? She goes, ask that person to co-sign you. It goes back to the prod. Yeah, she Shout was, out to that tweet. Was, she was like, yo, like you and this prod, bro. <laughs> like why are you so proud for? I because was like, I don't want to mess up the relationship I have with the person by being. She, it, it, I, I I said that too, and she was like, "As long as you don't do a bogus job, which I don't think you would, how could you ruin that? You're gonna do a good job. 
Mm-hmm. You take this seriously. I can see that you're taking this seriously. Mm-hmm. Why are you thinking that negative? So I Damn you. Like, yeah, I was like, I was like, I I hear you. <laughs> you gotta stop calling these niggas pussy. <laughs> I'm feeling you that. feel the undertone. <laughs> right? yeah, like that you shit. feel the undertone. But she was like, she she said, I'm always going to challenge you. To, to be your best. Like, I can't let you, even when you elevate one level higher, I'm going to tell you to keep going. So the cosign to me is, I guess, that that backing that, that will get you to the next level. Mm. I just don't know if it's my pride or personality <clears throat> that clashes with the thought of looking for a cosign mm. opposed to just letting one come to me. I feel like if I continue <clears throat> to do the work, it'll come. But sometimes you want... you. You want to go to a person and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Um, I need some help taking this to the next level. Like me personally, right? I guess I guess it is a pride thing because I have no problem going to Rel and telling Rel, I need you to help my vision flourish. Mm-hmm. So I have a Red Autumn cosign. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I We technically never logistically did paperwork to mm-hmm. say that Red Autumn is a part of uh what's a good guy is a part of Red Autumn production or what's a good guy Wait, is, no is none of that. I mean we've not not <laughs> not we've done paperwork but not on that, right? I think sure. It's always been like a eye to eye, like man to man. Like, we see, yeah, we see, yeah, we see like yo if you pop off, don't forget about me. Mm-hmm. If I if pop, pop off, off don't, don't I won't don't forget about you. you. And mm-hmm. it's always been his word and my word, and it's been stronger than any paperwork, right? Mm-hmm. So, but there's times where I've also been able to give a red autumn uh back. I mean, mm-hmm. a cosign mm-hmm. on like the last episode where we promote the album and we drop the tag right and we put the album art and we mm-hmm. push that. So it's mutually invested, you know what I'm saying? But that next level of like, I I don't know this person. Mm-hmm. I think it's easier to do that with a person you know. Like I know Rel. I've 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 seen Rel's daughter. I've Rel, I've been in Rel's house. I've been in Rel's kitchen. You know what I'm saying? It's a per, it's, it's not that straining on see, my that's, pride that's, than right. to ask a person who I see who I don't see often. Now that's that's that becomes another thing. I don't want to be the negative Nancy person, but nah, it's okay. Play devil's advocate. Having that relationship with that person is is still fragile. Because one wrong thing could fuck up the whole thing. Like even with the um, or one right thing though. Even with the um, the two the two brothers, the two brothers from Harlem, the Def Jam. Okay, okay, yeah, that's the example I was talking about okay. earlier. Though. Okay, okay, that's okay. Like that okay. right there. That's that's sensitive, bro. Okay. Like it's easy for that whole situation to just go left. So having that, but that's where your morals got to stay intact. So, you think his, no, no. of course, I think it's, it's, it, I think it's more like, I'll put it this way. Mm-hmm. Remember when we first started mm-hmm. and the radio st- station asked you, or that, that, that college station asked you to, to come and join them mm-hmm. and you said no, mm-hmm. right? That may have propelled you mm-hmm. at that moment. So you thought self instead of the long run. Mm-hmm. I think in that situation, what you're thinking is. I right, yeah, me and my man's built this, mm-hmm. but here's this company that can probably push me mm-hmm. that cosign, right? But sometimes we see that cosign don't always you always go right the way you want it to go. But now, if you look two years later after that cosign where his man's is at mm-hmm. in a good. new building, you probably would have been priority number, number one, one, number one, mm-hmm. because now your man is at the the seat. Mm-hmm. You know he's what I'm at, saying? He's at that table he, he's, he's actually calling the shots. Mm-hmm. So you should have stuck with the original cosign. So and boom. Niggas, niggas for, for, example, ain't there. for example, we'll, we'll, we'll put this in realer terms, right? Mm-hmm. That's like what I said earlier with me and Rao. Mm-hmm. Me and Rao never did no paperwork. Mm-hmm. So legally, mm-hmm. I don't owe him anything. Mm-hmm. But morally, we owe each other a lot, mm-hmm. right? But a big company comes... Now come rock with us. And I'd be like, yeah, but I got I got my man right here. But he gotta come with me too. Nah, we we can whatever you got there, we got here plus more. Mm-hmm. It's gonna look good. That cosign of but it's not- whatever company it is. Let's say it's let's say it's uh Big Gulp. 
<laughs> Man, why 7 Eleven doing that? <laughs> Big Gulp come offering us a new production, right? Mm. Studios plush, looks amazing, right? But then I go, I go over there to Big Gulp. Chemistry's trash. Not even. We I get the good look. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on all the covers and this, you that, and the third, this. right? But Big Gulp crashes. Mm. Companies uh files bankruptcy. Yo, I'm sorry, LaShawn, you know, I got to let you go. Red Autumn just got signed a title. And then Red Autumn's over at title, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, like, you can't do that. You know what, though? You can't apologize. Because at the end of the day... You're doing what's best for me? If the intention is true, then you can just... Say, look, I got this particular situation. I don't think that's how it went down. Yeah, I ain't gonna for a lot of. I can't say that. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that's but specific. It, it goes to the cosign. Like, look, because me, me and Benny had this conversation. Mm-hmm. If they say, look, we want to sign Benny Musa for X amount of dollars, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell Benny, take the deal. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I want you to do what's best for you as a man. I'm not asking you to come back and say that. I want you to do what's best for you because at the end of the day, you don't owe me anything. And I think when you have a business relationship like that, Mm -hmm. it works better. Like you said, it supersedes paperwork Mm -hmm. because it it has nothing to do with what I'm going to get out of it, but what am I going to bring to the table? Mm -hmm. I think that that's why we've been affected. And and Mm -hmm. that's another thing is it really comes down to morals for for real. Like I think it's more even even morally intact. Even even you telling Benny like yo, you don't got to come back and save us. Benny's going to do it regardless, bro. Yeah, right. yeah. But I don't, you know, it's I want what's best for the team. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's where people fall short mm. because they have a fearful thing. Mm. They don't come from, they don't come to business from a place of abundance. They come from a place of scarcity. And even with certain people, they mm. wouldn't even want you. But oh, no, nah, I don't take the deal. They'll be like, no, don't take the deal, bro. Because I don't want, I don't, I don't want, like, not, not, I don't want to see you do good. I just don't. Don't leave me here. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. they they've scared themselves like yeah, I don't. But it's all fair base. It's yeah. All so with the code, the idea of a co-signer, uh, I mean, it's good, but it's good, but that chemistry as long as my morals stay intact in whatever I do, and I'm then able, I'm, I, I can take whatever co-sign, and I'm also able to do what I want. Like I don't want you to be like, oh, you can't, you can't curse, you can't do this, you can't. Do well, that. that comes with it, so. Boom! Right now, 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 let's you're, say, now, you're, now you're diluting my content. But let let's put it this way, right? Let's say, let's say we get offered primetime television, mm-hmm. CBS. Right. What's the good guys on CBS? Mm-hmm. Right? They're now offering us. Now we're now we're on channel two. Mm-hmm. First, you can see us on your local television. You got Wi Fi. You can see <laughs> us. You go on the internet. You can see us. We're going to get the verified check. We're on Google. We're on Google. You know what I'm saying? You tell somebody, Google me, they actually going to find you and not the state of LA. <laughs> I might pop up before Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? But they say, yo, all that cursing y'all do, cut that out. You going to tell them no because of that? No. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. It's like it. it, it but that's but that's. that's but here's the thing. Though, here's the you. thing. Here, here's what I think. Mm-hmm. And that there, there's there lies the two cosigns in my eyes. Mm-hmm. I feel like if CBS came knocking at our door, mm-hmm. they would allow us to curse because yeah, they know what they, we're they came about. To us. They came right. To us. Mm-hmm. If we go to them and they yeah. like, yo, this is a good business idea, but I need ah. you to stop this. Then it's like, I right, we came knocking into them. They have terms. We got to agree to their yeah, terms they, or walk away. Yeah, if they come to us, if they come to us, we got to leverage over it. Right. I think you always mm-hmm. you mo you I I don't think in life mm-hmm. in life this mm-hmm. is in life this is general thing in life. I don't think you get what you deserve. You get what you ask for. Don't don't be don't I'm say don't Lenny ask me. Lenny said that. Yeah, he said you don't get what you deserve. You get what you um mm-hmm. negotiate. It's true. Even in relationships. You know, I don't always get what I ask for, but best believe I have a demand or I'm not tolerating something. If she wants it to work, she'll do it. Vice versa. I'm not going to sound misogynist. Except for what? Except for what? <laughs> if, if there's something that she wants and I want this to work, and I want, the key thing is to want it to work. Not what she wants, not what I want. If I want it to work, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. 
<laughs> all, I think, all I think about is that meme with the tongue. <laughs> you gotta put that shit right there. <laughs> that shit was there. I gotta find that. I know what you're talking about. What it look like when you eat yeah, butter. And, and, and the shit just sitting there looking at you, counting down the days and shit. Yeah, but nah, I think that's that's with all relationships. Romantic, that's uh, that's dope that Lenny said that. Yeah, he dad said that shit. I was just, just watching that shit. Okay. Well, yeah, I, that's you get what you oh, so ask for. Let's talk about it, Mr. Santiago. Facts. I seen that. You seen that he liked the picture? Yeah. I got out the shower hype as fuck. I, I said the nigga text the nigga said that ass. Yeah, yeah. I went to the DM to see if he messaged us. But, yeah. But I, it's, 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 all, it's all good. It, it's one step closer. It's one step closer. That's what I feel. I think that's the first person we're going to talk to. But the coast, but even a Lenny S. Coast. That right? goes a long way right there. That, that, both of them. Preach told me once. Shout out to Preach. Shout out to Money I'll, Man. I almost said his real name. Sorry. Said Preach, name. Preach said to me once, mm. the right person tell you yes, you'll never hear another no again. I mean, if Jay was to tell us yes, bro, it's gay, man. Because <laughs> it's kind of like, who are you to tell me no if, if, <laughs> if this person over here is telling me yes? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, I'm a little... T- I'm not torn between the idea of a cosign as long as my morals stay intact. And that person has a good heart and knows, like, they, they have... Well, that's the risk. Mm-hmm. People heart change all the time. Like, somebody could love you today and wake up and don't love you anymore. That doesn't mean that... Your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you say your funeral. My <laughs> fault. That's triggered me. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, I would feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> Daughter is a whole relationship and she wake up and shot. <laughs> Peace Lee, I don't want to do this anymore. You're <laughs> <laughs> big facts. <laughs> big facts. But um nah, but yeah, like so people change. I've seen I've seen people have relationships like, like for example, right? Mm. Uh I watched Kevin Hart's doc mm. and the person who who allegedly, because he wasn't found guilty of it, who allegedly set him up was his man for 15 years. For a bag? For a bag. You know what I'm saying? You, and what he tried to do, he tried to underhand blackmail him. So he sent like a note, but they found out that it was, it, it allegedly was his man. So that's like, that's like, <clears throat> who's my, Deshaun, I've known Deshaun for over 15 years. Right? He dropped the, dropped the video. Long ago. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like, instead of, instead of me, Instead of me asking for Deshaun for X amount of dollars because I'm I'm on hard times, mm-hmm. I get a I get a text free number with the video mm-hmm. and be like, yo, if you don't give me X amount of dollars, I'm gonna release this video. But Deshaun knows Deshaun is the only one with that video or the only one I was with to, to mm-hmm. set me up. Mm-hmm. That's corny. So that's what I'm saying. People are hard, for for a dollar sign when business is involved. That's why I think people pump the whole. It's not personal. It's business. Mm-hmm. That's corny. Yeah, but you. Got, I think we're at the stage where we need to uh, have the understanding of that. So God forbid it ever comes, it don't hurt as much. So this is this. I, I observe what the people on top are dealing with. So I know that I am not exempt from that. Because mm. if this man is at the peak of his career and the, the money he was asking for mm. was no large... Like 10 it, Probably it sounded like he 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 needed a bill to pay off, and that's what he wanted the money for. Nigga, you better go. Just do ask for do something, or, do something for the nigga. Or or he put you in a position to work. Or nigga, the nigga drop clean or something. Nigga. All Every Kevin day. all Kevin Mans do is work around him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I put you in a position to work. <clears throat> so like you said earlier, what you alluded to earlier, people don't want to do the work. So people will go. I think it's just too extreme. To ruin friendships like that over a dollar sign, but it's not unrealistic. And I think that's where people fall short of thinking, like, you're not exempt from that. You're not mm-hmm. exempt from going through that. That's what I'm saying. I don't mind a cosign because mm-hmm. he has, he had one of the biggest cosigns in this business, and that's Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. As long as your morals are intact, then fine. Like a dollar sign looks like a. <laughs> Niggas look at a dollar sign. I just, I just oh, think that's just still. But I ain't gonna front. It's 
niggas go through rough times. Like, niggas will have a kid, like, go through rough times. Even with the nigga from the fucking pharmacy, bro. Oh, who robbed the pharmacy? Niggas robbed the pharmacy and put down a, a, a note. It was like, I'm sorry, I got a, I got a sick kid. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that. Like, I seen that. I certain seen shit that. could change your morals so quick, bro. So it's like... I mean, his mor- did his morals change? How you know he's out here robbing niggas? His morals probably didn't change. His morals was to provide for his family. That was his main moral. In my eyes, if 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 I would have got robbed, mm-hmm. right, as a, as a CVS clerk, mm-hmm. and the person left that note, I mean, because of protocol, mm-hmm. I would have to report it. But if I had a say, I wouldn't press no charges. You know what I'm saying? I, I just wouldn't. We Companies have... Um, insurance, and they have the in their in their budget, they have expenses for losses. Write that off. That's just me morally. I mean, what happens next for him? I pray that one, his his child is feels okay better and feels better. Might right? find him. Two and two, they don't find him. That's, if if that's generally what he did it for. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, yo, his morals was like, yo, I got to take care of my kid. So if you had to get this co-sign, who would it be? Oh, my vision boy. Yeah, title. I would love, I would, uh, but because I feel like the way they support black creatives and young creatives and old creatives, and there's a lot of ideas that I want to throw at them, Mm. and I think it would be a great venture, but... That's just what I see. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's for me because mm-hmm. I always believe what's for me will be for me. Like that can't be taken away. I feel like the deeper, the deeper we get into this, the deeper we get into this game, and we meet people that's on the vision board, we'll learn more yeah. about how title moves. Like mm-hmm. they're gonna put a song how they how they move. Like you have your own creative process. They'll fuck with you mm-hmm. as long as we can go back and forth and like you fuck with my ideas, I fuck with your ideas. We create something amazing. That's cool. It can't be just. A dictatorship, but you, I gotta do what you say. I'm not, I'm not into that. Well, here's what I, here's, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna continue to go off of what I've seen. Mm. Drink Champs is over there. Mm. We all know that title, um, you know, with Rock Nation and all of them. Do say it's their thing, mm. and Ace of Spade is their thing, mm. right? But when you still watch Drink Champs, you still see yeah, Ciroc, Tequila, Ciroc. I mean, he does have... They're also on Revolt. Yeah, Revolt. So you'll see a Ciroc, but you'll also see like a... Their main drink is Tiger Bone. Mm-hmm. Tiger Bone ain't sponsored, ain't sponsored them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they love. That's what I'm saying. The whole... It'd be... I would understand if, if Nori was like... Or DJ FNN would say... Yo, we not pumping Tiger Bone no more because they don't sponsor us. Mm-hmm. I get it, but at the same time, they haven't because they love it, mm-hmm. you know? So, but what I, my point is that even though they got the venture with Mass Appeal, uh, uh, Revolt, and okay. Tidal, their brand is still their brand. Nori still is Nori. DJ FNN is still them. I think they just put them on a bigger stage and give them a bigger audience. Same thing with um, who else is over there? Chris Styles is over there. Yeah. Shout out to Chris. His show remained the same. They still trapping anonymous. Didn't change from. It didn't move off brand. Who else is over there? Uh, rap, 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 rap radar. radar. Yeah, rap radar. They didn't change neither. So those those are cosigns that I've seen that that the brand still remained the same and they boosted. The only difference now is the licensing of the product. So you'll see so you Rap Radar on Tidal before you'll see it on YouTube. You wouldn't, you or you'll wouldn't. see it on... You'll only hear mm. Trapping Anonymous. It's no longer on SoundCloud. It's only on Tidal. So the exclusiveness, that may be... So the, you wouldn't want none of the stuff on um, um, Apple? If that's a part of the, 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 the cosign, mm. buy Apple. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like... Because then you got to look at it this way. The streaming services, they, they see their ad- analytics before they even give it to you. Mm. So they can see, oh, these what's a good guy, uh, guys are doing numbers. Now, but I don't have to reach out to them. Now, what if we get the bread from, they want us to do Apple radio. They want us to do like what's a good guy radio on Apple Music. Okay. 
and we gonna keep doing, or we could keep doing this on title, and we get a little bit of creativity. What you mean? Like we don't get full creativity. For, like we don't get the full creativity mm-hmm. where at title. But we have full creativity at Apple. Mm-hmm. But we gotta stay exclusively or at black, Apple. Yeah, a black business. What feels better? In that moment, you would I, have to. I, you would I, have, yeah, to say have to say what feels better. What I'd rather. It's black. I love black businesses, but if I can still hold on to my creative process and everything, bro, I'd probably go to Apple. Yeah, but what 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 olive branch do you then extend? You know what I'm saying? Because here, I would say, I would say, I would then have to listen to the terms. What are you trying to change? Mm. You know what I'm saying? If if they if they want to change, we're bringing on your guests. They're doing this. We're doing that. You gotta change the logo. You have to put like a some type of title thing in the back. Oh, oh okay. Well, yeah, that, that's getting a little extreme. <laughs> like, that's like, I, right. you know what I'm saying? But then you have to be able to stay on your square because you you go so you go searching for an opportunity. Then what happens when the opportunity comes and it's not what you think it actually is? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, everybody will see what job I work at. Shouts to Torian. Torian don't think I work. <laughs> Shouts to Torian. But run, everybody. Run <laughs> everybody see everybody Her sees sad. where I work, right? Mm-hmm. And they be like, "Yo, I can't believe you work there. You must go all over the place. Mm-hmm. You fly for yeah, free. You got two days off, fam. <laughs> what am I supposed to go? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you you know this looks so amazing. I wish I could work there. And they finally get a job. The job. Like yo, this shit ain't as old. Yeah, nigga. you know what I'm saying. So sometimes you, 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 you want you want the opportunity, you get it, but it's not everything that is cracked out to be. Then yeah. you can honestly say, yo, you know what? I I've seen that I I I was able to see the opportunity for what it was. It's not what I want. Grass is green on the other side, Paul. And just and just you know, there will yeah. always be another opportunity. I don't think there's one opportunity to. I don't think there's more than one way to be rich because if that's the case, everybody be rich. We just have to copy the same formula. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same formula. There are multiple ways to become successful. And motherfuckers will still try to skip past that shit. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? There's multiple ways to be successful in this. So, I lane A didn't work. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what lane B of success offers. Let's Mm -hmm. see. And then we'll find... A letter that matches the brand, the integrity, our morals, and our pockets. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, go from there. But, so, but the cosign, mm-hmm. overall gist of the cosign, if it, if it makes me morally happy, uh-huh. that I don't feel like I had to sell out on anybody mm-hmm. or even most importantly myself, myself. then... I'm with the shits. I'm with the shits, yeah. I would love a cosign. I'm not going to be the one pumping... Nah, fuck no coast. I don't know. Nah, need it's, good, it's good to like nigga said it's good to have one. It's good to have that shit on your resume. Like But to, but the hard part, the hard part, which was what you was alluding to earlier, is the the support of others just because you have a verified check. Cause there are some people mm. that would naturally treat me better mm. if I had a verified sign. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Or 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 like they, there's this ongoing joke. Mm. Like I said, we're not misogynists, but there is some instant pussy that will come with a verified check. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The mm. talk you you DM a woman and you got a verified that check that next to your name, she might hit that accept button. She might hit the accept button. She might post you. Or she might expose you for the clout. You mm. know what I'm saying? So she might Adrian Boner you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bronner. <laughs> nigga said Boner. <laughs> nigga watching porn again. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> All right, big goal. <laughs> Come on, stop calling me that, bro. I'm a, it's not 7 Eleven, my nigga. Stop calling me that. Nah, but I'm telling you, nah, like, even with what's on your, um, what's on your highlights on your page? My trips, my godson. Oh, what'd you put on the, on the most good guy? Shit, what's the highlights on there? Oh, all the episodes. My shit is. Because uh-huh. I know that people really look at your Instagram. Uh-huh. My shit is Wayno, mm. Cam. Mm. Um, I think of just like a um one episode that we did, like shit like that. Like I already know they're gonna look there. They're gonna go to my highlights. They're gonna look at it. Oh, the episode of Wayno, the episode of Cam, the episode of Chris Styles, the episode of those people. But and, that's not fair. That takes the and that, that takes away but, from the, that's but, three out of hundred and fifty episodes. But listen, listen, that's the eye candy. 
That's the eye candy. That's, the, that's what they want to see, bro. Even when like executives are all this, they want to see that, bro. Oh, you got connections to these people? Oh, let's fuck with them. They love that shit, bro. Mm. Nigga, if I take a picture with Jay-Z, bro, I'm post that shit every day, bro. <laughs> you fucking shit me? Yo, bro, this nigga, this nigga know Jay-Z? Bro, I'm photoshopping different clothes every trip, bro. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? This nigga, this nigga live next door to this nigga. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Go right back to my mama crib. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, yo, bro, people but love seeing that that's, shit. that's, 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 okay. Nigga, if you... Okay, ooh. <laughs> Relax. Ooh. <laughs> this, nigga getting, this nigga getting hot over here. I won't, I won't say... Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Nigga from NWP. Okay. He had a million cosigns, pictures, p and Rock, mm-hmm. Uzi, mm-hmm. in the clubs with Don Q, all mm-hmm. of that, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. What'd that do? It get, Angle Front, the thing about it, it gave him enough, it gave him enough, he's like, he likes clout. So no problem with that, there's a certain shit, I don't, that's just, I'm different. He can do certain shit from that. He can host certain parties, he can, nigga was hosting um, Dukes, fucking LaRev, he could do certain, certain shit, it works, it works for certain people. Mm. But in our in our lane, it's better off we we do like an interview and then we take the picture with him. Mm. That makes more sense. If you, bro, that's not that's not gonna help us. But bro. that cosign that cosign for him mm-hmm. open up doors, right? Mm-hmm. It does. But not for long. It's not. It has to. How exactly? I'm, I'm in it like, for the long run. It, yeah, it has to. It has to be a. Because if I take this picture, what happens next? Oh, how let me, bro? That's it, bro. It's like. It has to be a. If I take the picture with you, bro, we have to have a conversation. Like, the whole relationship has to have longevity, bro. Like, it can't be oh, what's up, and that's it. Because, mm. nigga, what do we really get out of it, bro? A picture. That's so that's dope. That's what I'm saying. So we're in a position now. Mm-hmm. If we take a picture with a, a celebrity mm-hmm. and we post it, our audience might low key think that's the next episode. Yeah, that's that's, that's, see, that's that, true. That that's is trolling. What you, that that's not even trolling. I might generally see like say I randomly see Taraji. And I say, yo, Taraji, give me take a picture, blah, blah, blah. Take a picture, post it. They already thought, saw the vision board. It was yeah. like, oh, shit, they did it. Next mm-hmm. Monday, it's just me and you. Hey, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're back. That's what I'm saying. That mm-hmm. the, 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 there's a false imagery behind, like, photo taking and, like, that's my man, so that's big bro, or that's big sis. When it's just what it is. It's just a photo. Niggas, I'm like the picture back. That, <laughs> it's just a photo. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, the... That I'm saying that to say the 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 verification mm-hmm. sign or the certain cosigns just might just be yo like if I if I um if I text my man's and I say yo bro can you retweet the podcast for me mm-hmm. he be like I bet mm-hmm. and he retweets it that doesn't mean that he fucks with it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that he right, listens to it. Do it huh? But he has a he has a verified check. So mm-hmm. people with his following. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm back between the middle of the cosign. Like, I, I just it's don't just, know what that brings. It's iffy with that shit. Brian on front. Man, and I'm, then, okay, mm-hmm. there's always the saying, beggars can't be choosers. choosers. Mm-hmm. So if I'm asking you for a cosign, do I also choose my, <laughs> my clauses? You got to have the longevity, I guess. You got to have the, um, you gotta have the leverage. Mm. If a nigga, so what's your leverage as a creative? What do you leverage, bro? A hundred plus episodes, niggas uh. do production, niggas know how to edit. Uh, fucking niggas, niggas. So be- how do you use that leverage into Don the camera guy? How do you leverage that? How do I leverage? Repeat. I'm sorry, my the so motorcycle the leverage that you have here for what's a good guy. How do you leverage that in your other creative world? Where do you take this? How do you take this? And then bring it to my other, the yeah. other world. It's easier for me to have conversations with people now. Okay. I it's see. easy. It's easier for me to read people. Like I can, I can honestly, I could go into a room and walk up to a person now. Okay. Like, do I like doing it? Fuck no. Uh-huh. I can go up to a person and start a random conversation. Same way screws do the shit. Like I really sit there and watch this nigga too. uh uh-huh. The same way we could sit here and have a conversation. I'll just ask the person mad questions. I wouldn't even talk. Mm. They wouldn't know shit about me, but I know everything about them now. Mm. That's mm. How t- I take that right there from there, bro. Mm. Even with the um the camera, shit, I know more about cameras because it is. Mm. I know more about editing because it is. I seen you you learn how to edit. I was like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna learn how to edit too. Mm. I know this much about fucking editing audio, but I learned something. Mm. I mm. can bring that to damn that almost um every production shit I know. Like I want to do like. Mm. I was just asking. All right, 
I think I'm done now. Nah, stop doing that. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That was done. I was really done. I was really done. Yeah, so the co-sign, I think, I think. So what happens when you co-sign yourself? Right? Mm-hmm. What happens to upping your volume so high that you don't need a cosign? Can you name one person who made it big without a cosign? Is that possible? Can you name somebody who who you personally know successful without a major cosign? Do I know personally? Well, not personally, but I mean personally like to you. Like you don't have to know them I first name, know. last name, but I, I could say, yo, this person is as big as they are without a cosign. Cause that's one of the things that my uh, with, Amanda was telling me mm-hmm. with my vision board. She was like, yo, stop thinking that asking for a cosign is a bad thing because nobody on this board got to where they was at by themselves. You know, I mean, I'm thinking about it. I was about to say, Jay, but it's like, nigga, you got, you got people around you, bro. Yeah, and then in, in the beginning. You can't, you can't make it by yourself, for real, though. When people keep saying that, I understand, like, mm-hmm. bro, to be honest, like, niggas could, but that's mad work. Like sitting here, like you'd be doing this by yourself. You'd have to click this camera, click this camera, go over there, put that audio in. Mm. Bro, you'd be you'd be fucking t- you'd be here for five hours, bro, by yourself. Mm. Mm. So you need like having a team is an amazing thing, bro. Is a team different from a cosign? Yes. Okay then. So I, I understand the concept of having mm-hmm. a team, but my team is is it my team so, also my cosign. So did Jay have a team or he had a cosign? So I I would say Jazzo was his cosign. Mm-hmm. He he surpassed Jazzo, mm. but I think people were fucking with Jazzo so much, mm. that they and then and then Jazzo said, "Nah, here's my man Jay Z," and they gave him a chance. Because Biggie was a cosign. Biggie was Biggie a was cosign. cosign Biggie's cosign was Puff. Mm. Puff cosign was uh. What's that his name? Yeah, uh, Torian would uh, know better than me. Yeah. Shout out to Shout First to Class team. Breakfast. Shout out to Reg too. Shout out to Reg. Shout out to that whole, to the whole team. team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like everybody has a cosign, but those cosigns. Well, imagine having a bad cosign. That's what you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You got you gotta be careful a because a motherfucker that co- try to cosign you, but they got bad blood with everybody. Would they be a bad cosign? To me? Oh, yeah. I ain't going to front. He's... <laughs> Would Dane be a bad close on? Why? Well, it depends. It depends. Who are you talking to? No. It depends if you let um your fandom get in the way with that. Because we only know anymore. what we were told. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm a huge fan of Jay, but Dame is like... Because boom, Dame has his own television network. Mm-hmm. Dame has his own uh, studios. Dame has his own... This, that, and the third, right? As a black man, right? He has his own... I think he has his own channel in Charlotte, Mm -hmm. right? Dame comes to us, say, yo, I like what y'all doing for black men, this, that, and the third. I want to fuck with y'all. And my reason of saying no is because I'm a Jay-Z fan, that is stupid for me. Mm -hmm. Because quote, unquote, Jay don't know me from a hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? As far as I know. As far as I know, Mm -hmm. right? Or, Or... or to me, me to make that decision based off of what two men mm-hmm. did. That's none of that. That's that's nothing that's none of my do, business. That's, that's <laughs> that that is my none business. of my business. Mm-hmm. And personally, I have no attachments to that. Mm-hmm. I can't allow my fandom. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we necessarily do sometimes because sometimes you know you do want cosigns from people that you're a fan of or you appreciate. You fan them. out, you forget. But you forget your business. morals. You know what I'm saying? Or you forget the business aspect mm-hmm. of it. So yeah. I don't think. And niggas keep like you gotta. Sometimes it's, it's, you have to think for yourself. Like niggas would, niggas would just go off of what what the other person is saying. Like you gotta do your own research and you gotta do your own research right. too. Like. Exactly, exactly. So if Dame has his own channel in Charlotte, his own streaming service, his own website, uh, uh, all those things, and it's new, mm-hmm. and he feels like what's a good guy can grow on that. That is an offer that we don't even have access to because I've never been to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. So to know that this show is streaming in, in Charlotte television at 7 p.m. on whatever channel in Charlotte, that's way better than me being on 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 just YouTube. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm on television. I'm on a streaming platform. I'm on this. I'm on that. I'm on, that. That's an opportunity that wasn't there. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't let my fandom get in the way of like what makes sense. So that's a good question, bro. But I wouldn't I wouldn't 
a bad cosign, right, is quote unquote at a time like right now. Somebody that got bad blood, people, bro. Nah, not even like say Harvey Weinstein tweeted. Yo, I love that. What's a good guy? Who? I DM. Yo, bro, delete that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Please. I ain't gonna pre- I, I'm gonna say it first. I appreciate. I appreciate it. <coughs> but no. <laughs> you I'm say take me, no. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Bill, oh. come out of left field. Yo, what's the good guy niggas? I fuck with them. Yeah. We all think the same, no, sir. <laughs> nah. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate <laughs> your support. Over here, boss. But nah. So I think a bad Six cosign. Harvey Weinstein. Boy, that shit, my heart drop. <laughs> a bad cosign is somebody with a bad reputation, bro. Yeah. Facts. But a person with a bad reputation can enjoy your shit. You just don't have to accept the cosign. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or what type of animosity? Yeah, what did you do to, for, to burn for the per- Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, boom, a person could... Uh, perfect example. Mm-hmm. Person who owes me money, mm-hmm. right? That was the original... We're going to start talking about this thing after this, this episode. No, 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 no. I'm, it goes with this, right? Mm-hmm. There's a good... In the beginning, that was probably a good cosign. Mm-hmm. But this animosity towards it where now he can say whatever mm-hmm. because his platform is mm-hmm. the, whatever his platform is mm-hmm. and talk bad about us. People might believe that. That's a bad cosign. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know. But people at the same time, people are so, I might say everybody, but some, some people are so lazy that they wouldn't even do the research themselves. That is the power of, uh, that is the power of the voice. You know what I'm saying? Because the same way the cosign could work for good, the cosign could work for bad. A person could give us a chance just off a person bigging us up, Mm -hmm. and a person could not give us a chance because the person was talking down. And that's why there's certain things. That's why I always say, like, you could say whatever about me personally, but the brand don't do that. Mm -hmm. That is why I will always fight for that. Because you could say, you could say, yo, what's a good guy? A woman with a strong platform, right, could say, what's a good guy hate black women? Mm -hmm. Never hear our episode once Mm -hmm. and be like, yo, this is why black men, this is blah, 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 blah. That whole, that whole spew, that whole Mm -hmm. tunnel will open up. Yeah, it's over, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or Mm -hmm. a black woman could say, yo, I love that what's a good guy tributes women and they treat them right and Mm -hmm. they make sure they get home safe and this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. And that may so that may get us more support from other women because mm. it's like yo, here's two men whose show is called "What's a Good mm-hmm. Guy," but they 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 support black women. Mm. So the vo- uh, power of the voice is very like you know, but that's for the person to understand the power of their voice. Another thing is, I'm a quick bar. You can't talk down to me if I'm above the bullshit, beloved. Yeah, 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 yeah. I you think that's, that's that's a that's part of thing. that's a part of maintaining your frequency mm-hmm. in life to not not let it be lowered by outside noises. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm I have this high level of there's a level of self confidence that one must obtain to understand that I don't care what you say about me, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's like. The power of that voice. Yeah, it, it, it really, you know, you don't always have to address everything that isn't true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think. Man, that's, you, you know what I'm saying? I it's, hate that shit. It's, it's, it's times where I've, I straight up have to ignore. Because your truth is your truth. If you generally feel like LaShawn did me wrong. Mm-hmm. And you go out and you tell your friends that LaShawn did me wrong. And LaShawn's this type of person. And they'll be like, yo, but. On oh, what's a good guy? LaShawn comes off as this, that, and the third. I would, I can't believe he did you like that. She ain't never get my perspective. Mm. She ain't never hear my side. But her friend's voice is so powerful that be like, damn, well, I guess LaShawn is not what I thought he was. Why would I go out my way to find that friend and be like, nah, what your friend was wrong? That that lowers my frequency. It, it does, but boy. You believe what but, you want. But boy, you ain't going to throw a jab. You're not going to throw a jab at me. And think am I gonna throw a jab back? No, 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 no. I know, I know you protect your you protect your energy, but not even that, not even that. You know why? You know why? Why throw a jab back at a person I could beat? You know what I'm saying? Like you let them have it. Okay, that, you let them have it. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna be more exhausted throwing these jabs. You're lowering the more you throw those jabs at that person, mm. and they're not even responding to you. They, 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 they're literally over. Like you're, you're Earl Boykins, mm. and I'm Shaq. And I literally can see <laughs> over you. You know how high Damn. Earl has to <laughs> jump to on. even <laughs> hit his chest? Mm-hmm. That takes yeah. so much energy. You know what also takes energy? Mm-hmm. Bringing your head up to look down. So me bringing my head up to look down to give you that attention that you're seeking, 
because you don't know how to form your words in in a manner that that we can have a com, uh, a healthy okay. dialogue. Nah, I'm above that. I'm not giving you that. It takes you more energy to jump to me than me go down there. Oh, of course, and, me, and I don't and give go me down. back problems. Okay, um, <laughs> well, I think we're gonna wrap it up then. But uh, yeah, cosines. I'm still, I'm still iffy with it. You, you big, big up. You good? Nah, I can't feel my nose. <laughs> and you talking about me, right? I'm big up. Nah, yo, don't do that. <laughs> then I gotta give a backstory, bro. <laughs> yo, nah, yo, bro, you um, drink yo, yo, like yo, you, right, you already know. You already know. Um, <laughs> sick as wildin. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, we're good up there, boss. Um, right, edit that part out, please. Um, you already know. Shout out to y'all for listening. Facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Facts. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Facts. Um, check out your um, cosign before you make that person cosign. Um, you already know what it is. Don Peasy, D O N P E Z O Y. What's up? Don the camera guy? No, 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 no. I forgot. Even one more thing about the cosign, right? There are certain bills. I mean, there are certain things you can achieve in life with a cosign, right? So say. So say my credit's not the best, and ah, I want a car. Cosign. And I want a car. I think my business is too. And I hit up Rel. And I'm like, Yo, Rel, I know your credit score is seven, seven eighty, eight hundred. Can you cosign my car? This bank, the bank may say, Oh fuck, this little nigga credit. Mm, let's go fuck with him. This man right here. Either two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna fuck up Rel's credit score, or my credit score is gonna boost up. Mm. <laughs> or else says hell no But you know what I'm saying yeah, borrowed out from that nigga. I'm like, bro, that nigga. There, there are some things in life That a cosign may be required Because of where you're currently at But if you do right You reap the benefits of the cosign So say Say oh Rel has a A, 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 a black American express card mm-hmm. Right Rel puts me as a cosigner On the <laughs> card Right Look at the nigga but I don't use the card. Mm-hmm. My credit still goes up because I'm co I'm I oh my oh my credit report is I have a cosign to be attached to a black American Express card. Mm-hmm. I never use the card. Rel takes care of this card, pay his card all the time. It's a secured card. Mm-hmm. His, his it's a secured card. His credit increases. With that cosign, my credit increases. Mm-hmm. Cause I've seen people put their brother or significant other Shout on their on notes. their credit card with as a cosigner, mm-hmm. that they're an authorized user, mm-hmm. right? And their credit is now being able to increase because of that cosign. So the credit, I'll, I'll, the cosign is equivalent to the, the credit card, you know, authorized user. If you use, you can benefit from somebody's great credit, great reputation, if you handle your business, right? So that's all I got to say. You can follow me at Stay Focused LA on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, rate, do all that good stuff. And, yeah. and if you need LA to write you a treatment, you just got to um, oh, send your invoices. And shout, shit. shout out to Rain. Rain is, re- Rain is really moving out here. Go check out the video, The Motion, shot by this guy right here, spit by Rain. Uh, Rain got more work coming out. Uh, for a uh, second, check out Leaf Gang, their debut album. You know what I'm saying? Volume one, the Leaf Tape. The best song there, my opinion, is Leaf Anthem. If you don't hear that song, and then and then one either go from fifty to ninety on the belt, or do the MC Hammer dance, you ain't listening to that song right. That's the hottest song in this country right now, Leaf Anthem. Right now, that shit is fire. The beat is fire. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it Niggas is. Is my crypto in the crib? That was a great time. Of course, but <laughs> but Hooli's verse. Oh man, listen. Oh, Rich Rolling. <laughs> um, yeah, check that out. Mm-hmm. Check out that tape. Check out that tape in its entirety. If you need to book a session, facts. If you need a, um also another videographer. Hit facts. Him up. Um, listen to Honest here, huh? Much um. Oh shout yeah, out check out the Joe. Shout out to Joe. Oh, mm-hmm. honest hair. Shout outs to uh, imaginary players. Yes. Shout Every out to Friday. Bonson, Durags. Bonnets and Durags RGP. is coming. Their party RGP is loading. Party. Um, shout out to Skrills. Shout out to Skrills. Every Friday, Every Friday select, select Fridays, Fridays back and Skrills on YouTube. Skrills on YouTube. My man, my man is killing the YouTube game. He's foul for that, but 
Make sure, fl- make sure you follow all of these people that we're naming right now on YouTube. And Cups and Convos. And Cups and Convos, of course. Cups and Convos. Shout out to Shout out to the whole team. Shout out to Diddy. Yeah, man. Uh, Reek. My man, Shout Reek. Shout Reek. You already know. The good Reek. brother experience. Facts. Reek Boy, drop dropping it. every Monday, th- I mean Sunday through Saturday. This <laughs> <laughs> nigga, bro. Nigga working. When you get 12, that notification, to twelve. I'm like, oh, damn, Reek, saying? another one. Yeah, Reek, Reek. Uh, he ain't working though. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at him, bro. We, we, anybody else who's out there doing their thing, man? Um, Tasha, who else? Um, Run the tape. Um, Shane, uh, fucking um, Shana. Shout out to Shana J. Shout out yeah. to Sherry. Shout out to Sherry. Yup. Um, who else out here doing anything? Oh, shout out to shout out to um, Tia NYC. Shout out to Tia. Follow them on Twitter, on YouTube as well. Ah right, dang, we got a lot of people. We know a lot of people. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So, shout out to old people. We fuck with bro. Old people that fuck with us, bro. Yeah, we support those. Fu- who support. If you fuck yeah. with us, we fuck with you just like that. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I don't want to shout to um, um, damn, uh, Student Union Radio. Shout out to my man Goldie. Yeah, shout shout to King. Um, am I missing? Any? If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry, bro. I don't think it's a person I haven't shout. I haven't shout out in a while. Um, shout out to my man Skip and shout out to Malcolm. I'm, yeah, facts. Shout out to both of them, bro. Malcolm, you ain't give me my the skincare routine video, bro. You, you know. see, you see what these women are doing out here. Show them that the men can dominate that too, brother. And shout out to um, thank you, Malcolm. Shout out to my lady for getting on one place. I'm pretty proud of you, boss. Gang, Ooh, gang, gang. Um, oh, she got her own place. Hey. <laughs> Mama, you won't hear me no more. Yeah, I was just about to say that. You ain't gotta, I'm out of here, boss. You ain't got to worry about you. <laughs> she don't got to be quiet no more. Your Make mom, all the noise you want. Your mom, your mom don't got to knock no Stop more. Stop on the damn furnace. Damn, bro. Knocking the boots. Shout out to all the Deltas. God is good. <laughs>